I'm Greg Zanis, inventor of DreamCart123.com and now in our shop we're working on a model of the tunnel system and before you've seen these tunnels here this is a 112 scale model of the tunnel and over here again is a quarter scale you've seen the robotic car before in several videos and the tunnel system now what I'd like to show you is what I'm working on over here and this is a much longer larger tunnel section these are little sections of course and what it is is the same scale as the wet so that's also one twelve scale and you can see we got about 20 feet of, of sections here and eventually I'm going to be covering this with glass with plexiglass so you can see what we're doing so I'd like to show you what we're doing here is we have a small section of this tunnel here in the car going in and out of it of course and eventually of course we're building this and it's going to connect here and go up and down the system right here now I'd also like to show you that this is exactly the same scale as the wedges themselves so you'll see the car will easily flow from here in and out of all of these systems here and what we're working on is how will this actually operate in the building so if you remember before the car would enter here and go all the way over to here and over to here again the difference with this tunnel system is you'll be able to walk alongside of the car and of course here's some of the cars in the buildings here's one here's one and there's several of them over here I'd like to show you our switch track or if you want to call it a clover leaf it's really not a clover leaf and I'd like to show you what's going to be going on here you see these arrows will be the direction the car will be traveling in so there'll be one car traveling north and then down below that there'll be one car traveling south and then to cross it there'll be a car going east and below that I don't know if you can see this will be a car going west but we're trying to show the difference I'd like to show you before it gets complicated what's going on over here you'll see there's a double track system and that also a car will travel underneath the track and we'll be building these models in the next couple of weeks here so here's what we're showing you car going in this direction and the car below going in this direction and I'm trying to show you that over here again so what you'll see on the top here will be the car in the atrium going north and the car below the atrium coming south and when they come to a cross section we're simply going to raise the track six feet and we're going to eliminate what would be a common cloverleaf the car will come in this direction and go to the right and it'll go to this direction and go to the left and connect with the upper or lower deck so from every single direction you'll see another car coming of course straight through but it'll also go to the lower section and then it'll go to the upper section the beauty of this, and of course it's not a clover leaf, would be you wouldn't have to come, go beyond that and make a circle around like a conventional highway that you're used to seeing. Of course, everybody's traveling in one direction in any one of the eight systems that are intersecting here. Of course, here they go again. They go down and below, and here it'll go up and over. So this is kind of an overview of what you've seen before if you remember here in the new Chicago painting you'll see where you're coming into an intersection and you're passing by so in this painting you, we would add the section here and here and here and here now if you look here you'll see cars going in both directions and this is just explaining the clover leaf itself if you look in the Chicago painting you'll also see cars going on the red track 
and on the blue track. They're going, going in both directions. And this painting's too small, even though it's five foot by six foot, to show the clover leaf. So we're trying to explain each part of the model and all the engineering involved to see these cars will not have to slow down when they come into these intersections. We're also going to make an aggress ramp so you'll see how the cars will go. One will go to the right when it's ready to switch out. So all you have to do is either set your computer or pull your steering a little bit to the right and it'll automatically pull you to the right and it'll shoot you through that intersection. If you notice on the paintings here, these intersections are several miles apart. This will be seven or eight miles apart that I showed you on that topography. Here's another seven miles apart and eight miles apart. And of course, coming out of Chicago, there are a good 25 miles in between. So you'll have plenty of time when you're coming up to an intersection to place your car moving right and it'll turn it and it'll continue on in the other direction. And I'm Greg Zanis. And if you could also go to our webpage, you can see photographs of all of these models and paintings. And thank you very much. We're inventors of dreamcar123.com.